Packers are a rowdy bunch here on a Saturday night, huh? I want to take a minute out to introduce you to this incredible rock and roll band. But before I start with the folks on stage, I want to start with a special guest we have. He was there when this thing opened its eyes. He's been a part of the band. He's a founding member of the group Sabotage. One of the most brilliant musicians I've ever had the pleasure of knowing in my life. Would you guys say hello to the front house of the Mountain King, Mr. John Oliva? We're going to start upstairs, helping us out all week long. Some friends of ours for a good 15 to 16 years now. Amazing players, amazing people. I'd like you guys to welcome some of your own, because they are the Florida chapter of the Trade Summer and Orchestra. They are being led this evening, as usual, by the very lovely, very talented Asha Bavana on electric violin. To my right, killing it, as usual, on the guitar is Mr. Angus Clark. Yeah! Woohoo! To my left, on the Fender Jazz Bass, the other founding member of the group Sabotage. 25 years we've been sharing the stage together, right, brother? God, we're old. Mr. Johnny Lee Middleton. Yeah! Directly behind me, Drums! What did you guys think of Mr. Blas Elias? Yeah! Also upstairs, on all those keyboards, this gentleman joins us from the Ukraine. A warm welcome for Mr. Vitaly Capri. Yeah! Just over the left shoulder for 20 years now. Born and bred in Lakeland, Florida. How about one time for Jane and Jeannie? Yeah! One more person. The gentleman who created this whole thing and our founder. And I want that for Mr. Paul O'Neill. And some of you may know, it's almost three years now since we lost Paul. I miss him every second of every day. But I was really lucky to have worked for the man for 25 years. And over those years, we would talk about a lot of stuff. But something he would bring up over and over and over again is how time had become his most precious commodity. He'd say, if I lose stuff, I'll buy it back. If I lose money, hopefully I'll make it back. But when I lose time, it's gone. There's no negotiating with that. About six months ago, we started back up in the studio, going through some old sessions. And I'm really happy to say that we started recording some ETS home material. All right! Woohoo! But one of those sessions, I happened to look over at the recording console, and there was a cassette tape sitting at the end of it. I'd never seen it before. I don't know how it got there. And the thing is that most of the kids who work in the studio these days, they don't know where a cassette is. <laughs> extremely old, so I had it figured out. <laughs> I could play. <laughs> and what do you think? Here it is, Paul O'Neill strumming an acoustic guitar, singing a song I've never heard before. Aww. And it was almost like he was tapping me on the shoulder and saying, little brother, just breathe. Let go. It's all right. But hang on to this moment. Once this moment's gone, it's got to go back there, and you're not going to get it back. The song is called Hey Can You Hear Me Now, and we'd love to play it for you guys if that's all right. Yeah! Woohoo! That is a moment I'm going to carry with me for the rest of my life, I promise. Because as I heard Paul sing the lyric, Hey, can you hear me now? I could not help but look up to the heavens and say, My brother, loud and clear. <laughs> uh... 